Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You know, listen to the mind of an Terry Smooth. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I want to run something down to y'all that I wrote down. You know what I'm saying? And it's an underlining spiritual thing that have no language. It has no words to it. It has no explanation to it. But all men can know what I'm talking about. And all females can know what I'm talking about. But there's no direct way to actually explain it. So check this out, right? Why do men cheat? but not necessarily as interested in sex when they're not in a relationship. I repeat, why do men cheat, right, and get so motherfucking sex happy when they're in a relationship, but when they're not in a relationship, they're not as interested into other females as they would be if they was in a relationship with one individual as a female. Here's why. It's an underlying, underlining sense, and it's this aura that females put out that y'all may not necessarily know that y'all put this out, but based upon males being more left brain and logical, these are the first frequencies that a male may pick up. Now, I'm speaking about a regular mundane, average ass motherfucker in y'all regular mundane ass neighborhoods. Because a lot of times I'll be looking at a lot of y'all posters and shit like that. And I just let it go in one eyeball, not the other eyeball. I don't pay it no motherfucking mind because a lot of times what y'all think y'all be posting on y'all social media and shit as a sense of you looking like something or a boss is, is, is really the most dumbest energy I've ever seen in my life. Like uh, when a female can say, I only attract these kind of individuals or I need this in my life. And shit. You need to sit back and take several fucking seats. But look, check this out. Look, that is, you just, you just showing people that you bored on social media right now. That's really all you're doing. But like I said, why do men cheat when they're in a relationship, but you know, feel less interested into dealing with multiple women when they single? It's an underlining thing. Now here's the thing. The underlining algorithm to cheating AKA, here's it, here's what it is. Not wanting to be exposed to all the vibrational spaces you will have to fulfill, aka the levels of satisfaction you deeply understand you will have to maintain when you when you get involved with a female. You know, females have needs that's beyond the physical world. And a lot of times it starts with the emotions, and if you can't even get past the starting point, goddamn it, you're gonna build frustration in your motherfucking life being a male. But look, check this out. Like I said, the underlying the underlining algorithm the cheating aka is not wanting to be exposed to all the vibrational spaces you will have to fulfill aka the levels of satisfaction you deeply understand you will have to maintain and being in a relationship with the person is really a underlining run to excuse to use when you just want to have sexual relations and nothing more with another individual and the reason men don't get excited for sex with other women as much as they do at as if they was in a relationship, is because not having a relationship as an underlining excuse to run to, the male now, he know he will be exposed with no excuses to the expectations from the woman he might not be ready for. So when you're not in a relationship, you don't have no excuse. You don't have no run to motherfucking thing to go to when the woman start to expect you to do certain things that you could put that up now and be like, oh, nah, I can't really do that because this is the circumstance and situation. And usually it's a cheap cop out when a person is in a relationship with someone but got sexual desires for other people. And then once they jump into that sexual desires with other people, right? When, when it start to get to the circumstance where the, uh, she needs to be satisfied within the other areas that you may not necessarily be ready for, here's where you cop out and be a little boy again and not a man and then actually start to play little snarky games in order for her to find out that you got someone at home and not just being straight up. You know what I'm saying? So keep this in mind. This is one of the main reasons why a man would say after he cheated and then go back to the person he cheated on and be like, look, I didn't care about her, Right? That's why he could say that. But don't get psyched up, females, because this is what you need to understand. He's not necessarily saying he didn't care about the sex. He's saying he didn't care about her, a.k.a. her living conditions and her circumstances and the, and the other vibrational frequencies I was explaining that was going to have to be uphold or, or met or satisfied. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not willing to be all in in those areas, right, this is why cheating, a.k.a. having someone at home is a run to excuse. And then once you say something like, and then once you get caught by the person at home, you say some shit like you didn't care about her. But this is what you're not understanding as a man, how females look at things. And this is why slowly but shortly, her mind is going to leave and then her body is going to leave. And then you're going to be thinking she's fucking the shit out of you. But in the back of her head, she's waiting for the right moment and the right circumstance and situation to leave. This is what you're not understanding. When you tell a female that after you got caught cheating, oh, I didn't care about her. 
you're basically saying you're not saying you didn't care about the sex. You're saying you didn't care about that that homegirl's living conditions or homegirl's life. That's basically what you're saying. You ain't care about homegirl's life. So when you tell your female this, as a male, you think you're being smart to make her calm down. And even if she act calm down, don't think she ain't got shit running on in her mind. Because her, as a female, she deal with more of the emotions. So she's looking at it like, well, damn, if you could stick your dick into something and not care about that individual's life, then how long do I got for you to start looking at me like that? And then that's how a female will look at it. Regardless how, how long, how many years, or how much money, or how many Birkin bags your monkey ass done spent, and how many times you done took her to the movies to go see some dumbass movie. You see what I'm saying? All that won't matter if you can stick your dick in another female, and then your main excuse is, I didn't care about her, and I care more about you. You see what I'm saying? You just basically saying, nah, you, you, you care about sex, but you didn't care about that person's life. And a female, when they cheat, it's because they cheat based upon somebody that they connect with. Someone that they understand and connect with someone's life in some way, shape, or form. So, a, that's why you don't understand a female. Because once you start explaining yourself like, I didn't care about her, I just can do this. A female don't jump in to relationships with those kind of aspects. Unless they are thought. A.K.A. a female that's more correlated to the masculine energies. And this ain't even, you know, certain people in the conscious community uh, get y'all lost into thinking this is a way of expression. So when you see a, a female expressing too much masculinity, that's what masculine is. No, that ain't got nothing to do with it. The feminine energy in the totality is just the emotions. And the masculine energy in the totality is just the um. Uh, it's the thoughts, the math. So when you come across a female that's able to throw her emotions aside and be more logical about her circumstances and situations, then that make her a thought. She's more into thought, Mercury. She's more into the analytics of things. So she don't let her emotions outweigh. So she can fuck, she can let a whole bunch of dicks go into her without that emotional connection. But it's not a lot of thoughts out here. You see what I'm saying? And the ones that's portrayed to be thoughts, they really not thoughts. It's just really they have grew up damaged and went through so many circumstances and situations. Certain family members might have molested them or certain family members might have allowed individuals around them that they shouldn't. And as they got older, they just now realizing that they shouldn't have let these individuals close to their family and shit like that to affect this young woman like that so when she got older these certain insecurities start to play out as being a thought but that's a whole different motherfucking video but like i said it's just a the ability to think of the and so don't even be hating on uh megan the style y'all everybody because i know everybody be seeing her y'all just seen her with g easy and shit like that y'all seen her um in the club with motherfucking Usher and everybody and things of that nature this is what you need to understand i think she's an aquarius so i already know when I see that, I don't even have to look at the comments or the details of shit. I already know what she's doing. She got a career, so she got a team that's going to try to cater to her energy. They don't know she, They may not know she's an Aquarius and how to modify Aquarius energies, but just based upon her actions, it's going to play out in that way anyway. So she's using logic right now. She's like, all right, I'm going to treat these niggas like these niggas be treating the bitches. Every time you see a nigga, a, a rapper, every time he got, uh, he's, he's in a club with a new female, right, the female gets devalued. Well, shit, I'm the hottest female in the game right now. So I'm gonna do these niggas like that and every every hot rapper or singer I'm gonna take a picture with them and I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the sword more double-sided now So everything more on, a, on on an even playing field So it ain't that she's fucking everybody But she's playing with the imagery of people lost in as far as their indoctrinations and shit because she's smart <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's why like spirits and female bodies are smart as fuck like y'all don't be catching game You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's just besides the fact. I'm just giving off examples of shit. But this is why men cheat, right? But not as interested into dealing with other women or multiple women when they're not in a relationship. But when they're in a relationship, this is when they start to get all those kind of sexual urges that they want to deal with all kind of women in the world. Because here's the thing. You know that you could dive into certain frequency vibrations, but you know that you don't have to dive into all of them. And when a female start to put that in front of you as she want to be supported in these other areas, you use your person that you're cheating on with, I mean, you use your person that you're cheating on as an excuse to run to in order to throw up as this is why I can't because it's an excuse. Knowing goddamn well, if you were single in the first place, it's certain women out here that you wouldn't even deal with because you already know the circumstance that you're going to have to uphold before even evolving yourself to even get in the panties. You know what you got to do to even uphold that frequency vibration for things to continue in that area and your ass just might be a weak ass spirit and you ain't no man so you might can't deal with all those pressures. But that's a whole nother fucking video because you know what I'm saying? It's not a, this video ain't all about y'all females either because a lot of y'all females jump into these bodies and take advantage 
just some of the powers that y'all got also. And when you get a little weakling ass man around y'all, a lot of times y'all just slap him up and throw him in the air and now he's living chaotic. But that's for another video. Right here, this is about why men cheat, but not as aggressive with dealing with multiple women when they're not in a relationship. Because it's that underlying sense of being open and exposed to having no excuse to having to uphold certain frequency vibrations that women need as far as satisfactions. See what I'm saying? Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn air. Eee.